This weekend we're glamping in this dome. Otter Point Resort is a Newark glamping and camping resort in Calvin, Ontario, approximately 25 minutes east of North Bay. This property is run by Abby and Ian, a husband and wife duo, plus their two dogs, Archie and Gray, and their majestic cat, Darwin, plus a coop of friendly chickens. They offer four season glamping in three glamping accommodations, two domes and one rustic cabin, plus there are four non-electric campsites available as well. We are on our way to a weekend getaway in Kelvin, Ontario, and we are pretty excited because this is something we have never done before, but I have always wanted to do. We are staying at the Otter Point Resort, and the accommodation is pretty unique. We're staying in a dome, and I am super pumped because I've never done this before, and it looks so fresh, so clean, and so comfy in there. And the best news about this is that even though we have to walk to the washroom, it's right behind this tree. So we have a quick path to the bathroom there. Even though it's raining, it's not gonna be a problem at all. And then if I spin around this way, there's the lake. Beautiful. Okay, well the weather is not cooperating, but that is not gonna stop me from giving you a tour of this beautiful dome. And we'll start right here at the entrance where they have a nice coat rack so that you can put your coats, your shoes, and some storage here. And then if we just flip to the other side, we have a full kitchenette. So we have a kettle. We've got little marshmallows here if you wanna make a hot chocolate and hot chocolate mix microwave, toaster, a whole bunch of different teas and hot chocolate mixes, a dish rack so that you can do your dishes, a sink, they even have the soap and the washing sponge thing here too. You can't drink the water because it is unfiltered lake water so they wanted to make sure that we knew that. And there's also a hot plate and a Keurig with some pods here. So you can bring your own, but they do have a few different ones here you can choose from. And then there's also a fridge. And these are fresh farm eggs from their chickens. And a freezer. Because you can't drink the tap water, they do have a jug of filtered water here that you can drink. So this is fully safe to consume and to boil in your kettle and in the Keurig. Now let's check out the other side. On the other side is the living space, and this is where we have a super cozy queen-size bed, and there's also a wood-burning fireplace. But if you're a little intimidated about using it, they also have baseboard heating. There's a heater up here, and it's also an AC, so if it gets too warm in here, you can put on some air. Over here, we have a little trundle bed, so you can sleep two more guests here. The lower mattress just pulls out, or you can use it like a couch. And that's probably what we'll do. Then there's a nice little table here. And on the table, we have cookies. She baked us some cookies from the Otterly Delicious Bakery. But the best part of this dome is the view. Check it out. And this place comes with everything you need. Cutlery, spatulas, scissors, a wine opener, can opener, oven mitt, cutting board, and below here they have even more items. Plates, cups, they even have champagne glasses here, mugs, and some pots and pans. Now even though it's raining, there's something here that is very nice that you can't get at any other time, and that's the ambience. Listen to this. We've got situated here, and now it's time for me to go do a bathroom tour. I've got my rubber boots on because it's still pouring rain, but luckily we only have a short journey to our private three-piece washroom. It's really just right here, so it's actually not that bad, but because we've had so much rain recently, the ground is kind of muddy, so I am glad that I brought my rain boots to keep my feet dry. And we are in washroom number four. This is super cute. There's even a little curtain here. So there's some natural light in here. You could open the window. They have a shower behind me. 
a sink and a toilet and this is also on unfiltered lake water so all of the water just comes from the lake so you cannot drink the water from the tap in the bathrooms but it is super cute and I love that it's private so this is our bathroom with the dome for the weekend and if you're staying in the cabin or a dome you get your own private bathroom as well so a tip for you if you do come here the wild rose dome is the closest one to the bathroom structure so I would definitely recommend that if you don't want to walk a further distance but it's not even that far from the other dome or cabin. Each clamping structure gets its own private bathroom and one is for campers staying on the campsites. The rain has slightly slowed down, so we're going to check out the cabin. The Black Lily cabin is one of the original cabins on the property that was renovated with rustic charm and it's right at the edge of Pimacy Bay. Hey YouTube, come check out my crib. So this is the Black Lily Cabin here at Otter Point Resort and we have access to it all weekend so that we can use it, explore it, just check it out. So we're gonna give a tour of it right now and it's a different layout than the dome obviously because they have some walls separating different rooms. This is the main living area. It has a wood burning fireplace, a nice table area, a trundle bed as well to sleep two other people and then the kitchen is in the other room. Here is the kitchen. All of the same amenities, cutlery, pots, pans, and holders, dish rack, sink, microwave, pot plate, toaster, full-size fridge, some storage, your jug of water to drink, and all of your cups, plates, bowls, etc., and a Keurig, kettle, and teapot. Super cozy, has a nice window, small window, queen size bed, feels really comfortable, and that's the cabin. So it looks like a super cozy place to spend a weekend or two, or maybe even a family of four. Very nice. We caught a bit of a break in the rain, so we decided to come check out the fire pit and beach area outside this cabin. And if you want to have more of a secluded cabin experience, this might be for you. It is located right next to a highway though, so you do get some road noise, but for us, it doesn't bother us at all. If it was nicer, we would definitely be sitting by this fire and having a nice leisurely fire overlooking the lake, but the rain really isn't cooperating with us. Hopefully tomorrow we get some better weather so that we can give you a tour of the property. If you couldn't tell by now, the weather was pretty damp and dreary, but it was actually the perfect atmosphere to just relax and rest, something we are not very good at. We ended up spending a lot of the first day inside looking out the dome window and enjoying the sound of the rain. We did some work on our laptops, practiced our wood stove fire skills, and really enjoyed the comforts of the dome. We're back in the dome, just enjoying some leisure time. We're probably gonna play some board games, make some dinner a little bit later, and then call it a night. So we'll catch you in the morning. First night thoughts. It was very cool sleeping in this dome last night. The fireplace was like roaring all night long and keeping us nice and toasty. I just opened up the curtains in the dome here, have my coffee, and I'm enjoying some of the beautiful water views. Now I think it's time for us to make some breakfast and we're gonna crack open some of those farm fresh eggs. The kitchen really had everything we needed and I loved not only the look, but also the taste of these farm fresh eggs, courtesy of those friendly chickens I mentioned earlier. We had a late start to the day, but just as we were finishing our brunch, the sun started to peek out, so we got ready and headed outside to enjoy the nice weather while we had it. Do you see that? The sun came out, I manifested it and willed it to be, and we do have some sun now. So we're going to go do a tour of the property, starting here at our dome. You can see the Wild Rose Dome. There is a second dome over here and then behind us further down is the cabin, but we're going this way. Like I said earlier, 
our dome washrooms and if you keep going past the washrooms here there's kind of like a driveway area but this is the way to get to their saunas the best part about the sauna is the view you're sitting in there looking at the lake get a little bit too hot just go on ahead and jump in now let's check out the view from in the sauna It's pretty great to me, but as you can see, I'm not sauna ready. I did take my shoes off though, because I didn't want to get dirty. But tonight, we're coming back to sweat. There are canoes here if you want to get out on the water, but you do need to bring your own life jacket, and there are hammocks around the property. There are four campsites here for tent campers and they all have a picnic table and these really cool wooden benches around the campfires. The campsites here, whether you can see it or not, are all level and I would argue the amenities here, the setup here is nicer than some provincial parks. They even have outhouses around the property that you can use. We peeked into a few of the outhouses and they were very clean and not smelly at all. Then we met up with Abby and went to meet the chickens and her furry administrative assistants. Outside of the cabin, just a few steps away from the door is a beach area or what used to be a beach area. The water is really high right now, so it's actually covering the majority of the beach. But in the summertime, you'll probably have a beautiful spot here to go swimming. The property also has a mini library where you can leave a book and take a book. I left one and I hope someone else enjoys it on their future stay. We also found the game shed that has some outdoor games to play in nicer weather, like cornhole, and I think one of them was Connect 4. Despite the rain, the property was beautiful, and here you can see the spacing between the domes and cabin, and when all the trees fill in it will add even more privacy to the sites, but it won't block your view of the bay or the beach. That afternoon, I spent some time relaxing in this comfy hanging chair, walking around the property, and really enjoyed the scenery and weather. The resort is located on Pimacy Bay, which is part of the Mattawa River system, popular for fishing, canoeing, kayaking, and there are plenty of outdoor activities and attractions nearby. You're basically surrounded by water and beautiful forest here. So the sun is setting, it's starting to get a bit chilly outside. Might as well fire up the new sauna. We were the first guests to use the sauna and we enjoyed the experience and the sunset views to end our final night. It's our last morning here at Otter Point Resort and I wanted to take a few minutes to share my overall thoughts. And I'm gonna cut right to the chase. We highly recommend this little resort. It is so lovely here and the owners, Abby and Ian, take great pride in ownership and it really shines through. They made sure that we had everything we needed to have a perfect stay here and they do that for all their guests. So it's really nice to find that in a resort. I'd also say that one thing we did notice is you are kind of close to the road here, so you do get a bit of traffic noise throughout the day and evening, but that didn't bother us at all. We've camped at so many different places that have had similar experiences with the road noise, and that didn't impact our stay one bit. Being close to the road though does have some perks because you are close to amenities. If you need to run into town to pick up any supplies, if you wanna go horseback riding, hiking, and there's even a ski hill nearby. The cabin and domes here are fully supplied. They've got cutlery, plates, cups, you name it, they have it. We didn't find anything that we were missing on our stay here, so you really don't need to bring anything except for the food that you wanna eat while you're here and your drinks. 
As you can see, the weather didn't cooperate for most of our time here, but yesterday we had a long stretch of sun from the afternoon into the evening, and it was perfect to get out and explore the property and really see what it could be like in the summer months where you could go swimming and boating and spend a lot of time outdoors on this beautiful property. But if it is raining, I would still come because you can have a nice relaxing vacation and the domes are perfect for that because you can hear the rain on the domes and the cabin has a steel roof. So we hear that can be pretty relaxing as well. I hope this video can be helpful for you if you're considering glamping or camping in the future. Otter Point Resort is the perfect location for it. So we definitely recommend checking them out. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I'll be sharing more on our cruising, camping and glamping adventures. So stay tuned for those.